How's it going YouTube? Another video from Tips from Androids. I'm going to show you guys how to get the Nintendo 64 emulator on your phone. And it's actually incredibly easy. Just follow exactly what I do and it should work just fine. First thing you want to do is go to this link. I will post the link below and download the APK file. That's the only file you need to download to get this thing to work. So download that. Mine's already been downloaded right here showing folder right there and use a gmail account and email it to whatever uh... email you have on your phone use the gmail app and i'll show you why here in a little bit let's take this drag it right in there and i'll let that load for a second uh, while that's loading you can swing over to coolrooms.com coolroom.com also i'll post a link below and you can download some of the ROMs I have on there. I got some of them already downloaded, so I'm not going to download them right now. Just download them. You may need to unzip some of them. Just use WinZip. It's pretty easy. You can download it online. I'll post a link below if I remember to for the WinZip program if you don't already have it. And you can go ahead and put it on there. Uh, forgot to mention, you need to put your phone on uh, unknown source. It needs to be checked on your phone. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but for now, just go to settings, applications, and then check unknown source. Otherwise, this won't work, and that might bring up some problems. Wait for this to finish. There you go. Just click send. Send whatever. And I already got some games downloaded right here. But uh, pull up your phone. Once your phone's plugged in, make sure it's on disk drive. You should get something that looks like this. Create a folder that's uh, call N64 games. I think I already have one made on here. And 64 games. Go ahead and copy any games you want in there. I already did. The files look like this. Drag them in there, and that's all you need to do on the computer part. And I will show you guys how to do the phone part. So let me pull up my emulator. And on my emulator, my screenshot for my phone. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is what it looks like when your phone's pulled up. Uh, back to what I said before. I forgot to mention this earlier. Go to settings. Click on settings and you pull up to this screen and go to applications. Sure it looks right here. Applications. Go ahead and click on that. And just make sure you got unknown source checked. And that's all you got to do for that part. Now go to your Gmail app that you should have because you're using Android. Go ahead and click on that. And this is why you should have this on your phone. There you go. See how it says install? You don't have to download anything, you just click install. And it'll install it on your phone for you. As if you were downloading something off the market. If you if you don't have this app, you might have to download it. it. Turns into a pain. Just make a Gmail account if you don't have one. It takes two seconds. Pull it up. I've already got a version on here, so this is just gonna replace the other one I got. Storage, install. And there you go. That that's the emulator's on there. You don't have to put any BIOSes on there. I, at least I don't think you do. I didn't have to put any on mine, but I may have already had BIOS on there from earlier. If you do, let me know, and I'll find you guys the BIOS folder. Just click open, and you actually should get a screen that looks more like this. And just go scroll down until you find 64 games or whatever folder you put it in. I put it in N64 games. Go to click on that. And you're going to get something like this. I know everybody's a big fan of Zelda, so we'll click on the Zelda one to show you guys. And it's going to turn sideways on me. I can't turn the video sideways, I'm sorry, on here. Uh, just work with me a little bit. It is going to look a little choppy on this, but I'm, it's on my phone. It runs smooth. This is just a screenshot, so it's going to look a little choppier. Let's see, you got Zelda. I know it looks really choppy right here, but it looks smooth on my phone. Perfect. Looks like I'm playing it on a TV. And just go to English. File. I'm just click the file. A. Enter. Yep. Just did this to show you guys real quick. I'm not going to get too far into it. I might have to pause the video. I'm going to pause the video real quick, and I'm just going to fast forward right to uh, the gameplay so you guys can see it. 
Okay, so, I uh, never realized how long the beginning of this game actually was before you actually get to play something. And I'm just going to run outside. I do want to point out, again, I know I said it a hundred times, this is just a screenshot video of my phone, so it is not this glitchy. It plays just smooth as can be. This is not how slow it looks. I don't want you just to think it looks like that because I got it like that. And I wish I could turn this sideways for you, but this program doesn't let me, unfortunately. And there's some little chick yelling, hey. And, well, there you go. That's your gameplay footage. i never actually played this game before, but I know a lot of other people like it. The stop. Just look over here. You see the graphics look pretty good from, uh, what I can see from here, at least for uh, an Android game. So there, um, that's how you get it on there. Got any questions? Go ahead and visit our Facebook page right here, facebook.com. Tips for Android. You guys don't want to do that? You can just go ahead and scan our code and uh, like the page. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the page. We'll give you anything. You comment on the video too. I'll give you as much help as I can. And Go ahead and subscribe if you want. Like the video at least, please. Like our Facebook page at least. We have plenty of other videos showing you how to get pretty much anything you need on your Android. Just go ahead and send me a comment. If I don't have a video on it, I'll try to make a video on it. And if you guys are looking for any games or anything, go ahead and just leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.